Yesterday, the sale of the centuries-old Remington plant in Ilion was approved. This came after nearly every worker in the building was furloughed starting today. As the company was divided in Alabama bankruptcy court, it'll come with some guaranteed jobs lost in Ilion. The Maryland line that was apparently purchased by uh, Ruger, we expect that those, those jobs will be, will be lost. Last week, the United Mine Workers Association, the union for the workers at Remington, said Roundhill Group wanted to keep the Ilian plant running. Lamica thinks they can maintain the same level of employment that the plant had before. Maybe the new company uh, will bring something back here to, to Ilian too, such as the 1911 handgun. Lamica hasn't yet been able to meet with Roundhill. They've been tied up in the acquisition in Alabama. But the mayor says they've got his full support in however he can get workers back onto Hoffler Avenue. I'd love to meet with the with the uh, officials of the new of the new company, and, and sit down and, and see what the, the village village or our region could do to uh, help the the transformation here. He says the way Roundhill acquired this plant has him optimistic. One of the things that I find interesting is that the Roundhill Group made sure that uh, all the artifacts, all the uh, art. Uh, the old gu old guns and like that that were in the museum, whether they're in the museum now or on loan, uh, would be returned to the museum. Now, the village has to play the waiting game. As of today, around 600 Remington employees were allowed to file for unemployment. Their furlough just took effect. Now, Ilian waits on Round Hill to pass judgment on their new 200-year-old property. From Ilian, Chase Campbell, Eyewitness News.